If you're big into shopping local, well, then look no further than National Farmers Market Week. The USDA has set the first week in August aside as the 22nd annual celebration. And Bryant Reed explains why the homegrown markets are more popular now than ever. It's a literal bite out of life. Not only can farmers markets produce local homegrown food, but they support communities and a livelihood that you just won't get at a normal grocery store. I love farmers markets. I think they're great. What's not to like? Come on. You have to have a heart of stone not to like a farmers market. It's no surprise, but Katie Raditz makes her rounds to local farmers markets weekly, eating up the food, as she puts it. If you have local farms, that means you have people who are taking care of the soil. That can only be good. You don't have soil, you don't have farms, you don't have anything. This week, the U.S. Department of Agriculture is celebrating farmers markets, their importance to the communities they support, and farmers' tireless efforts like Brinkle's Organic Farm in Butler County. Within 100, 100 miles of Pittsburgh, there's at least 300 farms, and that's 300 families, and that's, you know, like 300 properties that could feed you in, you know, for instance, during a pandemic, you know what I mean? Um, you wouldn't have to go to the grocery store, you just go to your neighbor and get your food. And in food deserts, where stores are hard to come by, Barrow believes local growers help fight food insecurity. He says it's local pop-up markets that keep communities healthy and thriving with fresh fruits and veggies. I really think that if there was, you know, more urban farms and things like that that could feed, you know, you know, you're just your regular neighborhood, um, then people wouldn't have to, you know, stress about food. So on the days when you can't make it to a regular grocery store, Barrow says don't worry about that and instead head to your local farmer's market. They're usually open on Saturdays, but if you can't make it, head over to KDKA.com because we have a few that are open on Sundays instead. In Squirrel Hill, I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.